fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday, 7th of October, 2023. I hope you are keeping well and are in good voice, better voice than me. I'm still a bit croaky. I've had a sore throat for a couple of days. Um, but anyway, uh, I can still speak, uh, but I will try to uh, not speak too much um, um, in playing the Guardian uh, expert level puzzle. Now... This is my second attempt. Uh, the first attempt I was about halfway through when I realized if I had finished, it would have been a fluke. So I don't, I hadn't spotted um, any uh, bad numbers, but I had not um, filled in the candidates properly. And that means that if the game was successful, it would have been a fluke, so I stopped. Uh, I don't know if it was going in the right direction or not, if I was headed to disaster. I'm not sure. Talking of headed to disaster uh, in New York, uh, in the US, uh, do you remember that Mr. Billy Liar, George Santos, <laughs> he might be in trouble again because do you remember when uh, he made that uh, huge loan to his campaign from himself, $500 million, and everybody said, where did he get the money from? He's not particularly rich. Well, uh, according to uh, a woman who is his um, campaign aide, um, she's just uh, pleaded guilty to a fraud in the US. And she said there wasn't any such loan. They did it. <laughs> they cooked it up. So <laughs> that's going to be fun to watch uh, how that one develops. OK, so I'm going to be playing The Guardian. I am playing with candidates and I'm going to start with candidates all the way through. Um, like I say, I hope um, there are some things to be found, by the way, before candidates, but never mind. Uh, that's my preferred way of playing at the moment for sure. So I'm just going to go through the digits. I'm going to start putting in stuff right from the get go. Uh, by the way, okay, I'm going to put in this 3 and 5. You'll notice 3 and 5 here blocking down because that's why I did find that before looking for candidates last time, but now we're doing candidates. I'll put that in immediately, which will give me a pair of 3s up there and 3s there. Okay, we have six blocking down here and across here, so we get a pair of sixes here blocking up to the top. Up there, there's our six. Putting the candidates there. Now seven blocks up here. We've got a pair of three and five, so seven has to be in those squares there. Ooh, hit the wrong key again. Maybe that's what I did before. It's possible. My cat hasn't woken up yet, uh, but I know that his needs 
hospitalization again. Um, so I'm letting him sleep before he goes off for his painful treatment. It, soon he'll be hiding. Oh, I forgot to mention the sevens blocking across here and across here. Puts the sevens up there. I forgot about that. My cat will be um, hiding because he knows when it's time to go to hospital. So I should have to go on. I should have to lock the doors and uh, force him to stay in <laughs> inside. Um, Well, let's have a quick check through before we add a few more. Uh, right, let's put the candidates in down here. If I get lucky, I might find a single uh, one, uh, two blocks across here like this. So twos are possible here. Um, three blocks like this. So we have threes. Oops, we have threes in those squares. Four. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're just lacking a five. Is that right? One, two, one, two, three, four. We don't have five yet. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So this is going to be a five, and this is going to be a nine, and this is not going to be nine. It's going to be a two, and then we'll get rid of the twos there. One three seven there. Okay. Now this nine means that neither of these squares can be nine. Uh, and the missing digit up here now is going to be five. But we've got five blocking across here, so that means this must be five. And this must be seven. Now our five blocking across and up here will give us a pair of fives there. And also we have fives in these squares now. Okay, let's have a let's revisit the um situation shall we uh, we have a pair of twos over there now Okay, I didn't see anything else apart from what we've done, so um, any particular direction to go in, I don't know. Um, just come along the right hand side here, I think. Uh, this block is done, or oh, maybe we should go along the bottom. Let's go along the bottom here. Um, so do we have one, one blocks down here like this? five 
blocks like so. Six across there. And over here, what do we know about ones? Anything? Uh, I'm not sure. Five is always oh, done. Six, seven, eight. Oh, it's all done actually. Yeah, I must have erased. I, I I did something weird when I was erasing the candidates before down here. But anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's move on now. Let's do this block here. What else do we know? What do we know about the two? Two blocks down here. So we get twos available in those squares there. Uh, and eight blocks across here like this. So we have eights. There, we also have the one blocking across here, so we have one in those squares. That should be done. And then up here, seven blocks across like this, so we get sevens in those squares. Uh, eight blocks across here. Okay, so I think we're all done there. Right, let's um, go across the top here, which I didn't do before when I was... <laughs> if you'd like to buy a brush, uh, somebody's loudly trying to sell you one. <laughs> She's using very informal language to sell her brushes. Okay, so that's a six. And these can't be six. And we have a pair of sixes there. And because we can only look for six in these squares now, can't we? We've got a blocking six here. So that must be our six meaning that be our six and this will not be six this must be the nine because that's the only place a nine can go that means that this will be a nine and this will not be a nine Right, uh, so what's left to get... Oh, look, there's an 8 here that we need to place. And we need to remove our candidate 8 there. Um, okay, in this block, what are we lacking? We don't have 2. And we don't have 7. So, there is only one more block to be filled, I think. I think we got everything over here and went, yes, this is all done. So, there's just one more to go. So, when the one blocks down like this, we get a pair of ones here, which means we remove all of those ones. We place a one here. Oops. We place a one there. 
and we place the one there, which gives me a five here. Get rid of those fives. Get rid of that five as well. And about the ones, let's get rid of these candidate ones. And then let's place our eight here. Two. Get rid of all of those twos. Give ourselves a two there. Six is in this square. Nine goes here. There's our nine. This is a three. And this is a. Get rid of that one. And get rid of that three. We've got our six to fill in here. Giving us a six up there and removing a six there. Six and nine are both done. Have we got any excess candidates to remove? Yes, we've got one there. Right. <coughs> okay. Uh, looks like we have a single four over here now. Uh, which blocking that square there will give us the four up here. That will lead to a four up there. So there's the seven. Eight is here. Seven is there. Seven must be in that square. Seven blocking across and down here will give us the seven there. And we will remove our candidate seven there. And get rid of these as well to tidy up a little bit. Uh, what are we looking for here? We've got the 8 already. This must be our 3 then. That will be a 2. Uh, this is an 8. And back down here for a 1. 3 over here. 3 there. 7 there. 7 there. 2 is in that square. 5 goes here. 5. 3. 3. Uh, what do we need? Is it a 2? I think it's a 2, isn't it? That must be 2. Here is a 5. 5, 4. 4. 1. 1. 8. Done. Okay, that's our... Well, my second attempt, because uh, I was... I, I, actually, I don't think I did... I, was, I wasn't getting it wrong, but I just was going to... I was on par, on course for a fluke, and so I reversed course and started again. Uh, that's it for our Guardian Expert level this week. See you around. Bye-bye.